Hi guys, so let's look at this question here. Okay, it's a very good question on compound interest installments. Okay, because uh, we'll be learning some ratio method for this. Okay, this question says that that Ayush purchased an iPhone on the terms that he is is required to pay rupees fifteen thousand cash down payment followed by rupees ten thousand two hundred at the end of first year, rupees ten thousand thirty at the end of second year, and rupees nine thousand nine hundred at the end of third year. Interest is charged at the rate of ten percent percent per annum compound interest. What is the total interest paid for the iPhone? Correct. Now, understand this, guys. Basically, uh, the simple concept for this question is actually look at this concept here. Just explain you. I'll just explain this concept here, guys. See, the concept here actually tells that in whenever let's say for example, I have taken a loan of I have taken a loan of rupees sixty thousand. Okay, at the rate of Twenty percent per annum compound interest. Okay, now what will happen here? That sixty thousand. If I have taken the loan at the rate of twenty percent, so after one year, this sixty thousand will become how much? Will become will increase by twenty percent. So I'll multiply by one point two for twenty percent increase, and the value will be how much? It will be seventy two thousand. Okay, now let's say my first instalment is here. Rupees thirty thousand. So I am paying rupees thirty thousand, right? So now thirty thousand will get subtracted from this, and now my balance will be forty two thousand. Okay. So whatever is the balance, so now at the end of first year, my outstanding balance is forty two thousand. Okay. So now for second year, now this forty two thousand will increase by twenty percent. Correct. And this amount will be forty two thousand into one point two. So twenty percent increases. Eight thousand four hundred is equal to fifty thousand four hundred. Okay, let's say my second instalment is rupees twenty five thousand. Correct. So I paid rupees twenty five thousand, right? So now basically, so my balance is rupees twenty five thousand four hundred. And they at the at in third year, this balance amount of rupees twenty five thousand four hundred will increase by twenty four will increase by twenty percent, right? That is two five four zero into two is five zero eight zero. So five thousand eighty means thirty thousand eighty. So if I suppose I want to clear my loan at the end of third year, so I need to pay thirty thousand eighty to clear off my loan actually. Or so I need to pay thirty thousand eighty to clear off my loan. Correct. So now what I'm trying to say here is basically whatever is the whatever you have paid from installment, right? Whatever whatever paid installment, ah. Huh? The balance amount will again at the charge at same interest, and that is ten percent interest, right? Okay. Now, so get this concept here. So now, after that, let's apply this concept in, in this question here, guys. Okay. Now, this question here says that. So you read this question now. So now we can directly say that. Let's say rupees. I I don't know what is my loan amount, right? The first of all, I don't know what is my loan amount. Okay. It just says that from my loan amount, I have paid paid fifteen thousand cash down payment. What do you mean by down payment? That means Let's say for example, uh, an iPhone is of sixty thousand rupees. Okay, so you made some fifteen thousand down payment. That means you've given at a time of purchase only. So your forty five thousand is the balance amount. That is the meaning of down payment here. Okay, chalo. So now, if I see this here, basically the value. So now I don't know my loan, know my loan amount, right? Let's let's say I don't know that. Okay, so from that X rupees, I paid rupees fifteen thousand. Okay, so I'll just learn the use of ratios here, right? So understand this, guys. After one year, है ना? How much I paid? I paid ten thousand two hundred. Okay. After two years, how much I paid? I paid ten thousand thirty. And after three years, how much I paid? I paid at ninety nine hundred. That is my installment, right? That is my third installment. Okay. Now understand this here. Basically, whatever was the balance amount here, correct? No, whatever was the Balance amount here. That balance amount must have increased by ten percent. Obviously, right? So after paying, so I'm 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 doing back track, right? We're starting from last only. So how did I pay my installment of nine thousand nine hundred? Because some after paying my second installment, something was outstanding amount. That is the balance amount. And at the end of third year, at the at the beginning of third year, or at the end of third year, whatever you say. So let's say I call it one year end, I call it two year end, then I call it three year end. Okay, basically gap of one 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 year each. So at the end of third year, that balance amount will increase by ten percent, and that becomes ninety nine hundred. So what? So that basically means that 
I paid this ninety nine hundred rupees at the end of third year. But why did I pay this ninety nine hundred? Because I dragged my loan to third year. Right? What I did? I dragged my loan to third year. Okay. Had I not dragged my loan to third year, if I would have cleared cleared in second year only, then I need not pay this ninety nine hundred. Correct? No. How much I need to pay here? So it's a ratio, right? So I told you, you know. Any time for any two, whatever is the balance amount, that balance amount will again increase by what the given percentage. Like in last example, it was twenty percent. Here it is ten percent, right? The balance amount will increase by ten percent because one point one B. So basically, whenever it is increased by ten percent, so always hundred will become hundred ten. So ratio is always ten is to eleven. Correct. So for any two years, ratio is always how much ten is to eleven. Correct. So now. This amount basically is the ratio here is what the ratio here is ten is to eleven for these two or I should rather write here okay so that for these two years the ratio is ten is to eleven now value of eleven is ninety nine hundred so in ratio if eleven is rupees ninety nine hundred that means one is rupees nine hundred and in ratio the value of one unit is nine hundred so the value of ten unit that is nine thousand right. Understand this concept, guys? Okay, that means had I cleared my loan, had I cleared my loan in uh, second year only, I need not pay this ninety nine ninety nine hundred at the end of third year. That means this ninety nine hundred would be valued rupees nine thousand, है ना? That is the value of this ten year. So obviously, now you can see that, right? That nine thousand will now increase by ten percent and becomes ninety nine hundred. So had I cleared my loan at the end of second year only. My balance amount would be nine thousand. Ah, uh, I need to pay nine thousand only, not ninety nine hundred, right? So that means let's say now just let's rub this part now. Okay, don't understand this part here. Now obviously, so now get this hypothetical situation here. So if I am clearing my loan in the second year only, so ten thousand thirty plus nine thousand, my total balance amount is nineteen thousand thirty, है ना? My total balance amount is nineteen thousand thirty. Correct. Now again, same thing here. If I'm if I'm paying my loan at the end of second year, that is nineteen thousand. I need to pay nineteen thousand thirty. Huh? So to clear off my loan at the end of second year, but I didn't I didn't do that right. So I paid few installment and like that. Fine. Okay. So if I am paying my nineteen thousand thirty rupees loan at the end of second year, so had I not dragged this loan to third second year, had I. Not drag this loan to third year, second year, right? मतलब अगर मैं इस loan को पहले ही clear कर लेता तो क्या होता? Okay, so if I would have cleared this loan at the end of first year only, that means again the ratio of the amount for first year is to second year again is same, right? Ten is to eleven. So now eleven is eleven unit is rupees nineteen thousand thirty for any two years, right? For any two years, always whatever whatever is the balance amount that is increasing by ten percent. So for the ratio is what always. Ten is to eleven. So if eleven is rupees nineteen thousand thirty, ah, in the ratio the eleven unit is nineteen thousand thirty. Or what is the value of one unit? So what the value value of one unit will be how much? You just cancel it. Yeah, eleven one zero eleven eight zero seven one seven and then three. Okay. So value of one unit is rupees one seven three zero. So value of ten is how much here? Value of ten is rupees seventeen thousand three hundred. That means. If I would have cleared this loan at the end of first year only, I need to pay rupees seventeen thousand three hundred more. I need to pay rupees seventeen thousand three hundred more, right? So ten thousand two hundred plus seventeen thousand two hundred, I would have paid twenty seven thousand five hundred. If I would have cleared, if I would have cleared this loan at the end of first year only, so let's rub this part now. So if I would have cleared this loan at the end of first year only. I need to pay twenty seven thousand five hundred. Correct. चलो बहुत बढ़िया. Now, similarly, whatever was the balance amount, right? So on that balance amount, after paying fifteen thousand, there would be some balance amount. Again, on that ten percent interest is charged, right? So I need to pay twenty seven thousand five hundred, right? So now what I'll see here, guys, that what is now twenty seven thousand five hundred? What is that here? So that will be. Understand here? So that will be. Again, the ratio for these two years should be ten is to eleven. If the value of eleven unit is rupees twenty seven thousand five hundred, the value of one it will be how much twenty five rupees two five zero zero. Correct. So twenty five thousand no, or twenty five hundred right? Yeah, twenty five hundred. Okay. So value of ten should be how much twenty five 
रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड दैट मीन्स माई बैलेंस अमाउंट कैरिंग फॉरवर्ड वॉज रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ऑन दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टेन परसेंट इंटरेस्ट चार्ज वुज बिकम ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड राइट सच ए फैंटास्टिक यूज ऑफ रेशियोज इयर है ना सो नाउ द बैलेंस अमाउंट इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इयर सो यू नो दैट आफ्टर पेइंग फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड डाउन पेमेंट माई बैलेंस अमाउंट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड थाउजेंड राइट तो वॉट वॉज माई लोन अमाउंट इयर सो माई लोन अमाउंट वुड बी ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड विच आई पेड एज अ डाउन पेमेंट दैट मीन्स नॉट लोन अमाउंट इट शुड बी कैश अमाउंट राइट सो वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई फोन बेसिकली द वैल्यू ऑफ आई फोन और द प्राइस ऑफ आई फोन शुड बी ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड दैट इज द वैल्यू प्लस फिफ्टीन आई पेड राइट सो ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस फिफ्टीन इज फोर्टी थाउजेंड दैट मीन्स फोर्टी थाउजेंड मस्ट बी द प्राइस ऑफ आई फोन दिस ऑल्सो गुड बी द क्वेश्चन राइट सो इन दिस केस दिस फोर्टी थाउजेंड वुड बी द आंसर Okay, but in this question, I am supposed to calculate the total interest paid, right? So, what is total interest paid here? So, you just add all these values: ten thousand thirty plus uh, ninety nine hundred plus uh, one more year, uh, ten thousand two hundred, right? That is ten thousand two hundred. So, these three installments I paid. Okay, so if you add it here, so I think it it would become nineteen thousand nine thirty plus uh, it should be thirty thousand one thirty. करेक्ट राइट है ना जस्ट चेक वन सीयर ना दिस इज थर्टेन नाइनटीन थाउजेंड नाइन थर्टी प्लस यस करेक्ट सो इट इज बेसिकली थर्टी थाउजेंड वन थर्टी दैट बेसिकली मीन्स दैट आई पेड हाउ मच सो ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड आफ्टर पेइंग फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड इन ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड माई लोन वुड हैव बीन क्लियर बट आई पेड इन टोटल थर्टी थाउजेंड वन थर्टी बिकॉज ऑफ पेइंग इन थ्री इंस्टॉलमेंट्स राइट So what is the difference amount? What is the interest here? That difference is the interest, right? What is the difference here? Five zero one three. Hey na, sorry, five zero three. Okay, so five thousand one thirty. Correct. So interest is five thousand one thirty. And that's the answer. Therefore, my answer is my interest is rupees five thousand one thirty. Okay. So that's a very good question and a very very good way of solving this. Compound interest installment problems. Okay, sure. And also, also this combat, guys. Okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions. Okay, so the easy questions are are not asked here. So it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts. Okay, and. Uh, Uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around 8 to 10 months away from cat so the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrd sets also um this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get, get to get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 1 year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% or so so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put in a uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay Ask you for invite code put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there, okay? And do give this every Sunday. Do give this at twelve p.m. It's on every Sunday, okay? So every Sunday, give this on twelve p.m. Thank you.